Every trader has used moving averages at some point. But which moving average performs best? To find out, I will grab 5 different moving averages and test them over 10 years over 10 markets. Let's introduce our contenders. First up we have the good old simple moving average. Next is its popular cousin, the exponential moving average, which places more emphasis on recent prices. Third is the smooth moving average, an alternative to the simple moving average if you prefer slower but perhaps more reliable signals. Like the exponential moving average, the linear weighted moving average assigns a heavier weighting to recent data. Here's how the weighting is done. First you find the sum of values, starting from your lookback period, down to 1. For example, if you use a 50 period lookback, you get 1275. Progressively weigh each price as shown. The sum of the weighting should add up to 1. Finally, you sum the products in step 2 to obtain the linear weighted moving average. Our fifth and final contender is the triple exponential moving average, which is a clever manipulation of the traditional exponential moving average. It attempts to produce a smooth line without incurring significant lag, using the following formula. The triple exponential moving average reacts much faster to prices, making it useful to quickly capture emerging trends. Each moving average will be used to create a crossover trend following strategy. I will go long when price closes above the moving average, and short when price closes below the moving average. These reversal strategies are always in the market, meaning the exit for longs is also the entry for shorts. Here's how the simple moving average crossover strategy plays out in real time. The strategies were programmed in Alga Wizard as shown. For a more comprehensive assessment, I will backtest each strategy over the 10 liquid forex markets here, on the 4 hour time frame, from January 2012 to December 2021. I'll use these 4 performance metrics for comparison. Let's start with net profit. Obviously, a moving average reversal strategy is very unlikely to be profitable, hence the sea of negative values. The bottom row shows the average performance of each moving average across all 10 markets. The market average column shows the average performance of each market across the 5 moving averages. Since we are using the moving averages to generate trend following entries, this gives an indication of how well the market trends. Unsurprisingly, the Japanese yen pairs perform best. If you want to select markets for mean reversion trading instead, you can flip the strategy logic to sell when price is close above the moving average. If I use the average profit across all backtests as a baseline, here's how each moving average stacks up. The linear weighted moving average is the clear winner here. Of course, net profit should never be considered in isolation, so let's check our drawdown now. It's a tie between the simple moving average and linear weighted moving average. How about number of trades? All else being equal, a strategy that trades frequently is desirable because your edge plays out faster, and a larger sample size makes your backtest more reliable. The triple exponential moving average is the surprising winner here, although it doesn't fare well in terms of net profit. I suspect this is because it's much more reactive than the other moving averages. Having the moving average position closely to prices makes a penetration more likely. Finally we have the winning percentage. Performance is miserable across the board, thanks to the large number of whipsaw entries when markets are consolidating. Once again, the triple exponential moving average pulls ahead. Unfortunately, its reactiveness means the strategy often misses out on long trends, so it's unable to translate the higher win rate into net profitability. Here's a summary of all four metrics. If I had to pick a winner, it would be the linear weighted moving average. Of course, these results depend on the multiple factors shown here, so if you're thinking of trading with moving averages, be sure to run your own tests. If you want a complete strategy that combines the triple exponential moving average with the QQE indicator, check out the video at the top right. If you want a moving average that automatically adapts to market noise, check out the Kaufman Adaptive Moving Average at the bottom. Do you have a favorite moving average? Let me know in the comments.